Today we're going to do a string change. Now, the first thing that I like to do with a string change is obviously take off the string, which we've already done. Now, I like to take the whole of the tuning gear, this part right here, and turn it so it's perpendicular to the way that the string goes. See? So the hole's going this way. See that? Then what we do is we feed on any, on any tuning gear, we feed from the inside to the outside. If I was doing one of these, I'd go from the inside to the outside. So here we go, from the inside to the outside. Sorry about that, I'm moving it all around. Just like that. Now, I don't want to put all the string in there. I want to leave enough room so I can actually uh, do some wraps. You want between uh, two and three or three and four wraps, roughly. Uh, I do a little special locking system with mine too, uh, but you need extra string to be able to do that. So I come back around its own post towards the inside, I go underneath its own self, see that? And I jerk it closed, and I come around on the inside of the post, see that? So this way it's going to lock down on its own self, okay? Then what I do is you get a really nifty little string winder here, and it aids in being able to turn the, the tuning gear a thousand million times while you're doing the tuning. I keep the pressure on it as you see with both hands so this way each wrap is getting slightly stretched. Uh, each wrap is also starting from towards the top of the post and moving towards the bottom like rope on a dock evenly done. Uh, not overlapping any strings and uh, also keeping them nice and tight and together. Uh, then it goes down towards the headstock you know, we start from the top, and then we go down towards the headstock, and as it goes down, it's actually going to push against the nut harder because it's lower on down here. If it was up here, or your wraps went upward, it wouldn't push against the nut and you would lose some sustain. Uh, so anyway, so once again, just taking our string winder, finishing that off. Get it in the ballpark there. And I'm going to take our handy dandy needle nose pliers and clip it off about a centimeter from the end. And then I take the tip and I twist it back and around and so this way I won't need a tetanus shot. And basically that's how you change a string. So to reiterate again, uh, we go, we feed the string from the inside to the outside. Uh, then I did a backtracking around its own post underneath itself and over, making a locking system. Then I use a string winder to turn the tuning gear, making each string wind go down towards the headstock so it actually pushes against the nut over here. Uh, and this way, it gives you more sustain. And that's how you change a string. Have a good day.